All right. I love who wants it. to recap last session? Um, Clubber does. I, I, I know got, who. I, I got this. All right. <clears throat> Gosh, I haven't done the voice in two weeks, so this is going to be. All right, here we go. Dear Diary, we made it to Endline Station. It was quite a trip. Stepping out of the ship for the first time, I was hit with the amazing aromas of chemically induced food or food induced chemicals. Either way, it was just like mom used to make. There was a nice boy who tried to seal Sox's snack, so he wasn't really nice, but he looked nice. And then Kiara, being the amazing friend that she was, stopped him and got the food back for dear old Sox. We got the drink, and I was able to count cards. I even taught Sox how to count the cards with me. Unfortunately, I was unable to count the cards high enough to win, so I lost. But that's okay, because we had fun. The next day, we went to either a storage locker or a Holiday Inn Express. I don't remember. And we found Naomi and Hazel. They were talking to a rude forearm blue-haired lady. I remember a fight starting, and I think I remember either getting hit or maybe I hit someone. I'm not sure. The next thing I knew, there was a giant pool of blood on the floor next to a tiny hole. Socks was vomiting. Kirara looked horrified, and Naomi and Hazel seemed safe enough. The four-armed lady was missing, though. I then felt mad for some reason. Sox told me to run, so we left them and brought them to the ship to meet up with my new best friend, Uzu. Beautiful. I think that was stunning, actually. Beautiful. That was, yeah, that was a perfect recapturing, actually, I, of how, how things went down. I feel caught up. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had to put socks vomiting in. <laughs> it's an important part of the story. Details. Essential, really. You're not going to know what's going on if you don't know that part. Exactly. I mean, you missed the part where I was absolute god in that battle, but whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Doesn't matter. I, I, I love that Clubber just like doesn't remember what he did in anger. <laughs> blacked out completely like you know those people that you see on like reddit and stuff who talk about don't make me mad i black out when i'm angry then they're just being like cringe lords about it clubber is the real deal <laughs> yeah yeah cat yeah he's, he's happy he's... oh my god oh he's so happy look at that kitty oh <laughs> get a heavy breathe are we, gonna are we gonna heavy breathe into the mic, bud? Aww. Oh my god. Look at his fat butt. <laughs> chunk, <laughs> chunk, yeah, chunk, 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 chunky. Chunk, 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 chunk. All right. So you have arrived back on the Kodiak, and you have returned Naomi and Hazel safely into Uzu's care. Uh, when 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 Clubber, when you board, Naomi kind of pulls Hazel a little bit closer to her. And uh, she positions herself between her daughter and the three of you and starts looking at you a little bit concerned. There is no reason to be concerned. I think we just saved your lives. I, um, I do appreciate that, but I, I, I feel like maybe some of that was unnecessary. Whatever uh, do you mean? I think, yeah, I'm... S I'm sorry. I I I don't think you know. We should just forget, or try to forget about that, because that was kind of really horrifying, Clubber. Um. What are we trying do, to forget, uh, Socks? I don't do not do recall. That anymore. Uzu is like looking back and forth between the two of you. And it's like, what? <laughs> Clubber happened? went. Clubber went too far. Way way too far. Clubber, did you black out? You you probably did, because I don't think you would have done that otherwise. Uh, I don't think I blacked out socks because I'm not covered in black. I'm covered in red. Mm -hmm. And Naomi sort of like <laughs> pulls Hazel even closer and says, look, uh, Oksana was trying to get us to come with her. She said that she could give us shelter and safety, but really didn't feel like she was giving us much of a choice. Um, like we could either go with her or die right there in the box. Um, that's, that's when these three came in and, uh, well, uh, Clubber, I think you have a piece of ear on you right there on your shoulder. Ah! 
Uzu. <laughs> Clubber basically beat Oksana <laughs> into a tiny hole in the floor, and we had to run away. And it was really scary and horrifying. Wait, so did she did she make the hole or did she go through the hole? The hole was like a gunshot size, and you forced her through it, Clubber. Like a dart. Yeah. You see, you see Uzu like visibly gag a little bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know you were capable of that, Clubber. Should Capability I is only the limits me? of your mind. If I if I make you angry, are you going to do that to me? I don't think you could make me angry, Socks. I enjoy your company. And then I'm going to, like, pet Socks on the head. I immediately forget what I was talking about and why I was upset. <laughs> <laughs> so, Uzo sighs and kind of rubs his puzzle and says, Look, I'm not mad that you dispatched Oksana, okay? Obviously, she needed to go. But making a spectacle of it was not a smart thing to do. You, you you do realize like what what she was, right? Uh, if I remember correctly from what they're telling me, I believe she was dead. She had like four arms. I don't know. We didn't really get to talk to her that much before uh, we all tried to kill her. Uh, that 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 does does not surprise me. But she was she was a blue widow, as in the blue widows, the violent. All female gang uh, runs, runs runs all the prostitution in their own system. Like I, oh, nothing. I don't know who they are. Yeah, they yes, Clover. Do attack. you have a question? Are they blue because they're sad? Cause she didn't seem happy. I, not quite, bud. Not 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 quite. Um, they. Uh, so, as a group. You would have at least heard of the Blue Widows, if only vaguely. The Blue Widows are a very large, uh, crime, well, not crime syndicate. They don't like the phrase crime syndicate, but they are a very large organization, all female, um, who are mostly made up of, like, high-powered, ultra-wealthy, like, corporate overlords, mafia bosses, political wives, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and they run all of the doll houses, massage parlors, illicit sex rings. They, they, they run all of that in the city. Um, they recruit all the girls. They offer them protection, housing, food, all of that in exchange for their services. Um, but they are also known for being uh, kind of ruthless. Uh, and they, they get their name from their chosen method of dealing with wayward johns or just general organizational enemies which is putting poison in their drinks so you you you've just you, you've just killed one of their agents um and uzu kind of goes on to elaborate he goes those ladies are ruthless man and you just attached your faces to the murders of one of their most prominent recruiters well, clearly I she wasn't that good at her job. Murder. Just saying. Is it actually murder if it's in self-defense? She was already Did dead before you put her through the hole, though. True. That part was unnecessary. I'm not mad at you that we killed her because that was part of the plan. Are you sure I put her through the hole? Yes! <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to unsee it, Clubber. And Hazel's, Hazel's like crying here. at this point. <laughs> Do you see how upset you've made her? You did this. You gotta be more careful. Clubber is Where going to, you? like, Clubber starts tearing up a little bit, realizing that he did something terrible, and he's gonna slowly walk away to, like, the back of the ship and sit down. Is there some technology we can maybe, you know, make it flash out of her mind, maybe? I don't know. Something uh, needs to happen here. This it, this isn't this isn't Men in Black. I <laughs> Uzu Uzu like listen. I maybe not on this ship, most certainly, and most certainly not at anywhere anywhere in inline station. But listen, it, Vendetta or no Vendetta, we've got a job to finish. So just I don't know. 
Don't take drinks from anyone you don't know. Clubbers. I guess. Watch your six. Because the widows are sure as shit going to come after you. All right. Cl Clubber is uh, like w with tears in his eyes. He's just going to look up and he's just like, I don't have to watch my six. I didn't get the six card at the casino. Uzi doesn't even acknowledge that. He's going to turn to one of his shelves and start like rummaging through it. He pulls out a med kit and uh, looks, look, digs through it a little bit, pulls out a metal vial and he offers it to Socks and says, D hold on to this. It's single use antidote, single use, you know, just in case. In, in case one of us gets poisoned? Yes. That's 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 kind of their mo. So I don't maybe hang on to that and get, you, you know. Okay. They're sneaky use. bitches. Yeah, S single use. There there are some sneaky bitches. Great, and they can be anywhere. So this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so glad yeah. we're in this position. Honestly, yes. I couldn't have asked for a better Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> is it Tuesday? I don't know what day of the week it is. It's <laughs> Wednesday, socks. It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna, there's a reaction off screen. I am gonna put uh, the uh, vial in with. I'm gonna like attach it to my vest and put it like in, like the the one of the chest pockets, because I'm like I I don't want to lose it. <laughs> so I probably will. So I keep it nice and close to my heart. So only one dose. That yeah. Only one. That's that. That's all I got. So to like, God just don't, don't like share drinks. Don't like take drinks. Just don't. Just please, just be careful. Just oh God, please, just be careful. And Uzu slams his med kit shut, puts it back on the shelf. It goes. Now let's just let's just talk about Hasim. Okay, we we know we checked into the Ark Med Bay. That's about it. Naomi, do you have like? any idea what was going on with him or what was going on with Mel when you docked here? And Naomi shakes her head and she says, not, not really. Um, they were acting really weird though. Uh, like something happened between them on the way here. Hasim seemed really upset about something and Mel rushed off as soon as we landed and, and we, we tried talking to him and, but, but he would barely speak to me and he, he wouldn't even acknowledge Hazel like, she wasn't even in the room. She thinks for a second and she just goes, oh, poor Haseem. I, I think something bad happened to him. I'm just looking between them like, I don't know. Okay. Right. Yeah. Should we... Something must have happened. Where was the last place we saw his team again? In the... Have we ever they... met this person? Well, You've they... not met Hesse. Uh Naomi and Hazel have, have met them. They um, Hasim and Mel were the ones who rescued them and brought them back to Inline Station. Gotcha. But as soon as they died, mm. Hasim and Mel just kind of peaced out. Um, Naomi, like... She sees this awkward silence and, 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 and she decides to, to elaborate a little bit. She says, look, I... <sighs> Here's what I know. I heard Hasim and Mel arguing about something. I have no idea what, but it seemed like Hasim was really, really distressed. And whatever it was, I tried to talk to him about it, but he got really fucking mad at me. And so we just... <sighs> we ducked and Mel left immediately. I have no idea where they went, but Hasim and I, Hasim, we, we both checked in to, to the Blue Rose where you found us. We we were both there. He was in the room next to ours. Um, but the, the first night, I heard s screams coming from his room, uh, and, and I couldn't convince the clerk to open the door. You know, that kind of stuff just sort of happens here, but... I finally got them to open the door, but when I did, he was already gone. Um, there was blood all over the floor, but he w he was gone. We should probably go back and check his room, if it's still there, right? 
Do you recall the room number that he had? He was in he was in 403. Um but security um, cameras? Maybe in a coffin box like that, I doubt it though. They don't really uh she sort of covers Hazel's ears and says they don't really give a shit what happens there. Mm. Um and Uzu, Uzu kind of chimes in, he says, Well, uh, Rats did say that he also was seen in a med bay down on 121, if you want to try there. I think we should go to the med bay. Yep. Yeah, might as well. Let's do it! Uh, just don't push anyone through holes when we get there. Clubber, I swear to God, if you do that one more time, I will be pushing you through a hole. It is... Socks, is that a metaphor? No. I will have none of it. Okay. And with that, I'm just gonna, like, pick up Socks and just, like, start walking out. <laughs> I'm trying to be intimidating. You pick me up off the floor makes me feel like a piece of garbage. How could you do something like that? I'm gonna start scratching Socks behind the ears. I just stop. <laughs> so yeah, Uzu. <laughs> I love that Clover has a, little, a pet. <laughs> a little tail starts wagging. I'm just, in, I'm so at peace right now. So Uzu uh, pops open the door of the Kodiak, so you can so you can head on out, and he goes, "All right, uh, you guys go down to 121. Uh, I'm gonna stay here in case the widows come around looking for the three of you." Love that for us. Adios. Can Cosmo come with us? Yes. Yes, always. Cosmo can always go with you. And, and Cosmo, just at the mere mention of his name, he just pours to life and he follows you out. Yay. If the widows do come looking for us, just remember, Medbay 121, you can let them know where to find us. No, we no, don't we want don't, that. We don't want them to find us, Clubber, because they will kill us on the spot. Oh, contraire, my furry friend. That did not happen last time. You're right, but that was just one of them, and I assume it's not just going to be one of them this time. You know... Assumptions are like hand grenade socks. You can make them, but when they go off, you don't know what'll happen. Okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> drop that conversation. So I'm like... <laughs> There's no point in saying anything anymore. Why argue with Clubber? There's no point to it. <laughs> There's no winning here when Clubber's in the conversation. All Clubber right. Wins. Are we headed to the elevators? Yep. All right, you step in. Yeah, let's go. You hit 121, and the elevator doors open. You step out. Ooh, fancy. Into level 121. Uh, it is immediately apparent to you that this is not a recreational level like the ones that you have been on so far. In both directions, the terminal corridor is relatively dark. It's kind of dank. Um, and there are fluorescent lights blinking and, and buzzing really loudly overhead. Um... You don't hear a lot except for the metal clanging of pipes and the faint thrum of the system's power stations. And the air here smells of mildew and rust and chemical disinfectant. Um, there is no map down here to show you the way. Mm. Lover, you go first. I feel at home. So there's no way to know what direction we're actually going at all. Correct. Okay. Yolo. Room numbers. Does because Club, Clubber never showered off, so he still has blood and stuff on him, right? Yes. Well, yes. Okay. All right. I can help us find our way, and he's just gonna like draw a nice little oh, arrow God. with the blood on the wall, and then head <laughs> in that direction. This is horrific. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know, not the same as a fucking map, but sure. Arrows! Can, can, can we see any people at all? 
No, you cannot see any people. So when you okay. step out of the elevator, uh, the corridor, the elevator is essentially in the middle of the corridor. So you can go left or you can go right. What if we go to the left? Left is better. Because they might assume that we're going right. But aren't there like numbered rooms? Is it, or are we just finding the med bay? Do we know what room the med bay's in? There is basically there. There are no doors that you can see. We just gotta walk. Yeah. So what you can see, like as you step out into the hallway, is that it goes in both directions, and then it also turns in both directions. It looks like it might be like a square or a Wait, really large I rectangle. Meet up again. What if? Good. Are, could can we see so we can see the ends of both of these hallways where it turns right yes hear me out what if kiara you get in your cat form and you run to the end of one hallway and then clubber and i will go the other way and then you run as quick as you can with your little cat feet back over to us or we go to you that works i was just about to say we should split up and cover more ground so i will go to the right Plus, if you're a cat, you know. Yeah, no one will suspect anything. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> Clubber and I will just be fucked. So, true. Okay. All right. And Kiara transforms and heads to the right and starts going down and exploring the hallway. Right, Socks, Clubber. were we supposed to go left or right? We are going left. Are we going your left or my left? We are looking the same way. That way. And I point down the left hallway. <laughs> We're going that uh, way, Clubber. And Clubber is literally, like, as the, as the paw is going out, like, literally, like, he's just shifting in perfect unison, going directly where it's pointed. <laughs> Clubber, this is never going to get old. All right, let's start. <laughs> let's start going, buddy. Let's, we got, let's be, we, you know, we don't know who's behind that corner. So I'm thinking, you know, we play it a little sneaky if we can. Because you never know. Sneaky, you say? I can sneak. And Clubber's, like, gonna hunch down. And just, like, kind of, kind of like he's trying to hide. Even though there's nothing to hide behind. Well, uh, at least you're not crawling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I we'll, genuinely uh, thought you were gonna do that. We'll cover Clubber and Socks first. And then we'll cover what Kiara sees. So, Clubber and Socks, are you actually gonna try and stealth? Yeah, yeah, I think yes. are. Yes. Right. At least around the corner, like, to check, see if anybody's down that hallway. Because I'm Go pretty ahead. sussed out. Uh, Clubber rolled an 11. Hang on. Where's my stealth? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you approach the corridor. And you hear these really heavy footsteps, like, racing towards you. Oh, fuck. They get closer, and they get closer, and they get heavier. And then this really tall, really gaunt guy rounds the corner. He is running at full speed with what appears to be a bathtub gripped in these two cybernetically modified hands. Excuse me, sir. Do you and know where the med bay is? He nearly like plows right into you, but stops just short and puts the tub down, kind of curses under his breath and goes, uh, you should watch out, brother. I almost took you down. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Kevin? I'm Tony, brother. He, you said brother. He must have thought <laughs> you were someone else. Anyways. Uh, I'm sorry, we didn't mean to be in your way. Uh, we're just looking for the med bay. I, 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 that, that way? He, like, he gestures, but, like, in a very circular motion that's entirely unhelpful. Thank you. That, sorry. You carry on. Carry on your way, sir. Sorry. Would you like yeah. me to help you with your tub, sir? And Clever's, like, just gonna pick up the tub. This guy, he kind of rolls his eyes, and he goes, Ugh. I'm training, man. Don't you know a fighter when you see one? Oh, oh! I, 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 I cl Clover, Clover is, Clover is fighter. 
Would I, you like to spar? I'm a no. real one, brother. I'm the Dark no. Knight. I'm a natural born fighter. May I ask you a question? Shoot. Okay, Clever would like to throw a punch. No! <laughs> 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 All right. Oh. Clever wants to spar. He got Clever has lost two fights in a row technically. He wants to spar and he just found a fighter. <laughs> All right, hold up. Let me Let me get him out here. You say that and I am immediately like oh my fucking god. I'm literally throwing a punch with my right arm while my left arm is holding socks still. <laughs> oh, oh you're still god. holding me? <laughs> Oh, oh well, God. yeah. So as I'm like, I'm sorry, we didn't mean to. You're still holding me in the air. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna roll an attack. Okay. And I'm gonna try to roll dexterity to dodge. Okay, I think that works. Um, uh, where is my, where are my attacks again? Oh gosh. Features. No, not features. Why don't I see my, oh, there it is. It's inventory. Okay. Uh, unarmed strike tier one. And I would like to use my inspiration for advantage. <laughs> oh my god, all right. Have at it. <gasps> <laughs> all right, let's see here. A natural 20. Nope, that's not going to be good enough. All right. You uh you throw a clean fucking punch. And you get him you get him right on the cheek. And uh he stumbles a little bit. <clears throat> And uh, he spits some blood, and he says, uh, Not bad, my friend, but, uh, Sorry to say, I only fight if they're paying me. Choking necks and cashing checks, you know? Champ shit I only, you know? But, <laughs> I'll throw down with anyone who steps into the pit. Carpe diem, you know? Seize the carp, you know? Meet me Where can I find the days. pit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Clubber, please put me down. We have a mission. Uh, down I, on the I will, lower levels, my friend. I will set Socks down at the at Socks's request. <laughs> he says, "Uh, why don't you uh find me down on level forty-two when you're ready? Meet me in a few days, and we'll cross hands, my friend." Perfect. And what what did he say his name was? Tony. 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 Oh, that's right, Tony. All right. Thank you very much, Tony. I will meet you there once I am done finding my... Is it... Socks, are we trying to find our friend? Oh, we're just looking for the med bay, Clubber. The med bay! Is the friend in the med bay? We're... While the two of you are talking, without so much as the nicety of a goodbye, this guy, <laughs> Tony, picks up the bathtub again, and he starts running back off down the corridor, and he's huffing as he disappears around another corner. Clubber, we don't know who we can trust here. We can trust Tony. He's a fighter. I'm a fighter. Don't you trust me, Socks? Yes, but that's different. I'm a, I got guns. I'm not going to trust everybody with a gun, Clubber. <laughs> I don't see why not, Socks. I, I just give up. I'm like, okay, let's just keep... <laughs> How has Clubber survived in this world for this long? <laughs> hey. That's a good question. So, <laughs> a really good question. All right, while that's going on, Kiara, so you you go to the right, and a dude carrying a bathtub just whizzes right by you, uh, just huffing and puffing. <clears throat> and uh, as you proceed down the corridor, you start to hear some really distressed shouts. Uh oh. And I just go sneakily in my cat form to go towards it. We gotta see what's going on. Uh, when you turn the corner, you see a man bent over someone else's body, 
and the person on the ground is just spasming violently. That's not good. <laughs> um, I think I'm trying to wonder if I should go back and get socks and clubber, or if I should help the person. Uh, I'll transfer back into my human form and try and like help the spasming person. Yeah, so so as soon as you transform, the guy uh, who is still not on the ground, he sees you and he starts begging for help. He says, please, please, he's got the shock and he's got it bad and I can't get him to the med bay myself. Shock? What is yeah. that? Uh, you would understand that the shock is short for circuit shock. Um, so circuit shock is a disease. It's pretty common uh, on this planet. Um, it's one of the most pervasive diseases across Alpha Ceres, and it's a neurological nervous system disease uh, that happens when the connections between um, the brain, the body, and implant tech starts to degrade. Uh, yep, and then Kiara just um, goes towards them and tries to help, up, like, prop up this other person and, you know, so we can start walking to try and find the med bay. Yeah, when uh when you get closer, you see that the guy on the ground he has a severe nosebleed. He is foaming at the mouth. Um, do you want to try and do first aid right there, or do you want to just go ahead and carry him to the med bay? To try and do first aid right there is uh where is Cosmo at? Uh, Cosmo, that's a good question. I think Cosmo's just chilling. He's just waiting by the elevators. Oh, okay. He, like the t like you guys split and he didn't know where to go so he's just he's just waiting. I forgot about him. Yara just yells, "Cosmo, come over here!" You <laughs> hear me? Out. You hear right away? You very distant. You just hear right away. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear him come around the corner and, co and, and 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 come over and he arrives and he goes, "Well, this seems rather grim." Yeah, Cosmo, we need to help and do some first aid. And do you have any like bandages, any kit with you? I, 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 I he, he starts, he starts looking. He like does out all of these different attachments. He goes, he has like a duster and like a, a blow. He has like a vacuum attach. He, but he has nothing medical. He goes, should I, should I go get, should I go get shit? Yeah, do can you, you go get you want me to uh, go? socks and clubber? Cause I think. We have to help these people, and they might know where the med bay is. Yes, 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 absolutely. And 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 he wears off. Um, and Socks and Clubber, you see him coming much quick, much more quickly than you thought Cosmo would be capable to move. It actually looks like it might be hurting him or straining him to be moving this quickly. Um, and he goes, "Quick, quick, K Kiara, she says she sa she says you must come. There, there, there. Someone needs help. Let's. We must go. Oh, okay, all right." I start following, um, Cosmo. I almost forgot his name for a second. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. I, yes. I start, Follow me, please. I start following. Um, and I'm kind of worried because I know, I, I know we left Kiara by herself. And so I'm like moving pretty quick. <laughs> almost to the point <laughs> where I'm like actually hopping. Like I am moving <laughs> that fast. So Cosmo leads you, um, back to where you came and then around a corner um where you see this scene um this guy is violently seizing on the ground nosebleed foaming at the mouth uh and and his very distressed friend is begging for help he's got the shock yes yes it it, it appears so mm. uh i'm not a healer but you know um i heard the med bay was this way so um Clubber, socks. Yeah, would you like me to do CPR? To me, uh, pick this man up. up. This person. I pick I will immediately pick him up. All right. Don't let him go because he's moving around a lot. He's like I will. Fish, I, I am okay. When socks says don't let him go, it's it literally like the pickup just turns into like bear hug. All right. And this um. Uh uh met med bay med bay. Yes, yes. His his companion uh, starts just running. He goes this way. It's this way. 
I'm like booking it now. I'm like on all fours. Like I'm going. I am and, dashing. And so I am proceed, following with a You proceed body. around the corner and you turn another corner. So you, you do realize that this, it was just one big rectangle. Uh, and there's the door to the med bay. It, it, it's the only thing on this floor, aside from piping and electrical wiring, basically. There's a large red medical cross glowing on both sides of the doorway, and the doors automatically slide open as you approach. They wash you in this painfully bright fluorescent light. Um, the scene, in, the scene inside is, is, is kind of grim. Um, there are beds all on the right side of the wall that are filled with patients in various states of crisis. A few of them seem kind of comatose, and others of them are groaning in pain, tossed against the side railings, and there are haggard nurses tending to a few of them, changing soil dressings and checking the vital monitors. Uh, two, two nurses rush to meet you at the door, um, and Clubber, they try to lift this guy out of your arms. Clubber, give this person to the nurses! Clubber, drop it. Literally okay, dropped. I not. <laughs> <laughs> the nurses <laughs> actually catch him with surprising ease. You were uh, lucky. <laughs> you were lucky, sir. Sucks. It's been three nurses. sessions. How do you not know to not I be know, literal I with said me? It and I immediately regretted it. Okay. <laughs> All right. They start, they start rushing him away to a bed, um, asking what happened, and his companion sort of starts to explain that he's been circuit shocked for a while, but had a violent episode, and and there there there's a conversation sort of trails off as they disappear. Um But another nurse sees the three of you standing there, just standing, not leaving, and says, um, what do you need? We are looking for our good friend. Or... He's, gonna tra he's just gonna trail off for a set for a second. Hasim. Hasim. Yes. Yes. Hasim. So this nurse, she she's she starts wiping blood and just like biomechanical fluid from her arm. She goes, um, go talk to Jones. He sees everybody that comes in and out of here. And she points to a man standing near the back of the med bay who's bent over an operation table with a headlamp and bloodstained scrubs that he's wearing under a military jacket. He looks a little busy right now. Maybe we can help so, him. No, we're not doctors, Clubber. If so we were, we would have helped that guy. This nurse sort of, like, peers up and takes a peek at what he's doing. She goes, ah, he's finishing up. You can go ahead. Are you sure? She oh. said it's okay, Socks. Okay. Pick up, in yeah. arms, walk over. So when you approach, you see him putting the finishing touches on a newly grafted cybernetic arm. He says, and there we go. And he steps back and he puts his hand on his hips to kind of admire his own work. And he says, that should stop the shakes, at least uh, for a few days. Anya, can, can you move this guy to recovery? And the nurse you were just talking to comes bustling past you and she takes this guy, wheels him away. And Jones pulls off his gloves and finally seems to notice you. He says, uh, how can I help you folks? We're looking for our friend. Um, Haseen, we're told that you might know them. He sort of thinks for a minute. He goes, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I saw him come through here. Uh, are you friends of his, you said? Yeah. We are yeah. good friends of his. Uh, I've, uh. I've seen a lot of shit recently, but that guy was a real piece of work. I don't even know how he made it here in the condition that he was in. What oh, no. kind of injuries did he have? Uh, look, there is no way for me to put this delicately, so uh, I'm just going to come right out with it. Uh, Hasim showed up here with what I can only describe as extreme corneal melting. His... His eyes were basically liquefied right out of his head. Uh, he wouldn't tell Clo us how he got Clubber like that. just immediately like drops socks when he hears that. <laughs> he wouldn't tell us how he got like that and uh, wouldn't let us give him implants either. So Was he completely blind when he came in? Uh, yeah, there, there, there's, 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 
and nothing left there there's nothing Word. left and like look obviously obviously like look around we don't we don't have the latest optical opticals but we do have some of the only decent off-market rigs that you're gonna find in this godforsaken station and any of them would be better than being blind but he just kept going on and on about how he needed to stay that way and uh we couldn't talk about it he got pretty mad at the suggestion so he uh he kind of shrugs he looks really uncomfortable and he's like he's not even looking at you anymore he is looking past you with a thousand yard stare and he goes so uh we just stabilized him as best we could and put on some fresh bandages and let him get on his way did he give you any idea of where he was headed uh i mean i don't know exactly but he did keep muttering something about visiting the oracle I I assume he means the one down in the Nucleic Temple, so maybe try there. Was he brought in by himself, or was anyone with him? Yeah, he, he, he came in alone. What is the quickest how. way for us to get to this temple? Uh, it's uh, down on level 99. You'll uh, just get through all the shots and etc. It's, it's down like a, a freaky-ass alleyway somewhere down there. Um, there, there's a map. You'll, 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 you'll kind of see it. But uh, just be careful, though. There are some, there are some real fucking weirdos down there. Oh, we've seen a few of those. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. We'll get out of your hair now. We appreciate your time, Doctor. Thank you for the information. Lemon juice and baking soda will get those blood stains out, and then Clever's just gonna start walking away. But, but th thank you. Um. So you exit the med, the med bay and you return to the dimly lit corridor and Clubber, because your memory is very good, you actually know just a little bit about this temple. Um, so this is a temple that caters mostly to altereds and other butated type folks. Not the genetically engineered sort, um, but only the naturally mutated ones from like radiation exposure or in, and, and so on. Um, they follow a group of extremist alterts called the Oracles, um, and they do some pretty batshit stuff down there. Um, like, lethal rituals uh, with, with, with very few survivors. So, not a pretty scene. It's, it's, you know it's a pretty intense uh, group that, that, that's dwelling down there in the temple. Socks, I think we should hurry. I think you're muted. Um, yes. I keep forgetting I'm on push to talk today. Do we need to go back and get socks a new tongue? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Clubber? You're right. We should hurry. Before I agree with you and take yours. The most serious I've ever heard Clubber this whole mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go uh, level 99, he said? Yes. Level 99. Are we hitting the elevators? Yes. While leaving the room, Kiara gets some, like, bandages and just starts, like, trying to rub off some of the freaking oh. blood off Clover because she's just so done with seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can grab a couple towels on your way out, you know? Yep. Try An extra pair of scrubs. Kirara, <laughs> were you not listening? A towel will not work. You need lemon juice and baking soda. Well, this is just what we have right now, so if we find any, <laughs> I'll be sure to give it to you. I appreciate that, friend. All right, so you kind of you, you 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 complete the square, you make it back to the elevator, um, and you hit the button for Cosmo's very nice. He reaches up and he hits it for you. Um, yes. And the elevator starts to whir down and deeper into the station. Um, and while it sort of descends, Uzu's voice comes buzzing in over Cosmos' comms system. And he goes, hey, Sox, you there? Yeah, hi. Just uh, uh, wanted to give you a heads up. Those, uh, those zealots down at the temple, they, uh, they really do not like folks like us. Um, animus, I mean, splices they'll tolerate, but... There's no shot they'll let you win if they know that you're born a genetic freak and not made one. So, uh, I don't even know if they'll accept the splices today, so you might have to, uh, 
tithe your way in, if you get what I mean. Uh, yeah. You know, I could, um, I could probably sw swing that. What do they think of yokais? It's probably best they don't know that you're a yokai. How do uh, I tell, how do I convince them I'm not a genetic freak, though? I'm very clearly a genetic freak. I'm a five foot tall oh. rabbit. Oh, socks! I have an idea. I don't know what is it. C can you curl up into a ball? I can try. I'm still gonna be I mean, like. You could fit in Clubber's backpack. Uh, yeah, so uh, did, did you did you curl up into a ball or did you just say that you're gonna like try? I just said I was gonna try. Okay. And I I'll, I'll uh, yeah. I'll, uh, are we still standing in the med bay? Yeah, no, know. you're you, you're on the elevator. You <laughs> We're on the elevator. Okay. I was like, am I just gonna? Are we just gonna do this in the? In so, here? so 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 Clubber is just like, please curl up into a ball of socks. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Clubber. And I do I'm it? gonna I'm gonna take the ball of socks and place it on my head like a hat. Clubber, this is. I isn't think gonna that's work. a little too noticeable. This and I poke my head out from the <laughs> ball and I'm like, this isn't gonna work, man. <laughs> Not if you keep talking, socks. This is clearly... I'm just on top of your head. It looks like you're wearing a two-foot-tall chef's hat. I do know how to cook. <laughs> Did you forget I have thumper-sized feet? My feet are huge. They're basically mermaid flippers. Ooh, do you, you have a better idea, this? socks? Uzu can see all of this, and he goes, I... Uh, Maybe just uh, an offering in instead, you know? I They're a church. They'll take your money. I I lost all of my money counting the cards. I can give I can I can give the money, but will that will they let me in or will they be like thanks for your money? Fuck off. You're a rabbit. You freak. Who's to say? We got to give what it if, a shot though. What if I find a disguise? Could also work. What are you gonna try and disguise as? We could I shave know. you. I'm not that far. No, we're not <laughs> shaving. <laughs> that is not happening. I'm not mentally prepared for that horrifying <laughs> time. Thank you very much, Clubber. You know what? Okay, here. Here's what we'll do. We'll just go down there. We'll go down there, and I'm just gonna try. And, um, ask nicely, I guess. And, you know, uh, if I gotta bribe them, I will. You know, maybe lie. Uzu, Uzu says, well, I, we don't have a lot of great options here, but, um, maybe if it... Just tell them you're looking to climb the ladder. All right. Is that going to put me in a cult? Hopefully not. Wow, I don't like I, the sounds of that. I don't want to alarm you, but Sox does not like heights. It's true. That That's true. Um, but I, I probably won't be in a ship though. Uh, so it's fine. <laughs> I think we'll be, I think, you know, Clubber, I think we'll be okay. I think this is going to work. Um, I'll try and just ask nicely, say I won't be there for very long, maybe donate. And then if they're like, that's not good enough, then I'll bring up the ladder. And then, you know, uh, hopefully th <laughs> this isn't for nothing. <laughs> so the elevator door is open to level 99. And you're met with a pretty familiar thrum of activity as people bustle past you and gather around various marketing stalls. You are back in one of the recreational levels. Uh, but here it smells much mustier than the upper levels, like it hasn't been ventilated in a really long time. You certainly don't hear any fans running, but the air is noticeably colder here too. Um, while you push through the crowd uh, to, to find the map, Cosmo pipes up and says, you may have noticed a sudden change in temperature. This part of the station and all levels below it are under the surface of Beta Scorpi. Is there anything you do not know, Cosmo? I do not know love. 
Well, let me show you. I'm gonna pick up Cosmo and give him a good hug. He's gonna he'll he'll take his like little arms and he doesn't like quite know how to like properly hug, but he'll like sort of hang his arms over your shoulders and and, and pat your back a little. See? That was easy to learn. I have a question. Is there art for this scene? I was just about to ask that. <laughs> yes, there is art for this scene. I just see a black screen. Yeah, I just see black. Let me see if I can reload it. Hold up. I was like, I feel like Oh there is ship. supposed to be. We're in the ship. Ship time. It says you do not own any token with vision in this scene. Yep. Oh, I know what the issue is. Hold up. Let me fix that. Do do do. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. Oh, there it I is. Like this, it. this looks good. This yeah. Is a good piece. I like it. Shout out to the artist. Was this all on like Deviant Art or whatever? This was uh from ArtStation. I'll do the art credits after we wrap. Nice. All right, you're good. That's awesome. So much neat stuff for sci-fi campaigns. All right, so and you I are now the on med bay one too. Yeah, the med bay one was sick. Mm -hmm. It was actually really hard to find like med bay art that wasn't like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you're on level ninety nine. Okay. All right, so he said it was down some weird alley. Are there any so... signs that indicate where we would need to go to? Oh yeah, there's there a, is map a map here. There's a map. Okay. Can we see the alley on the map? Yes. When you take a look at the map, you see that you need to go to the eastern corridor. And once you reach the end of the eastern corridor, there will be a much smaller hallway that goes off of that. And the temple is at the end of it. All right. Eastern corridor. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do it. All right, so as you head down in the Eastern Corridor, you uh, pass all sorts of like market stalls, restaurants, and as you pass one particular market stall, you overhear a group of women who are gossiping. Tea. And the first, the first thing you catch is, yes, yes, straight through the floor. Oh, oh no, <laughs> that's horrible. Kind of impressive if you ask me. Clover, don't say it the other. Door. At, 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 no, the word, at the word impressive, Clubber is just like Clubber's walking normal, and then Clubber hears impressive and just goes. So the other women scoff at the <laughs> suggestion that this is impressive, and, and, and one of them says, I heard that the widows are making an awful big fuss about it. I mean, they've got every operative in the station looking for them. Another woman uh, nods and says, they, they sound like a really odd group. I heard it was this really big guy with an accent who actually did it, but there was this other, like, kind of slinky girl with him and a rabbit, too. A rabbit? Walking, no way. Walking. Clubber, do yes, not turn a rabbit. Kiara's, like, trying so, to physically push, like, Clubber to not interact with these women. But, but Clubber is walking, but his neck is, like, turned, and he's looking Clubber. in their direction, just like... So you actually make eye contact with one of the women in the group. <laughs> and she elbows the woman next to her. No. And, like, no. sort of nods ahead in your direction. And the, the group, the entire group turns. And one of them, their jaw drops in recognition, and she, like, whispers something to all of them, and they just hurry away. Clubber, stop. Okay, let's just stop we doing just that. We need to go. We just need to get the fuck out of the station. Yeah. Okay, can we just go? As you can see, the, the widows are already like get our description, so we we gotta leave. Socks, I think we had some fans. No, 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 we did not. They are scared of us. Or because are you they? punched someone through a. Floor clubber. Okay, I, we can't do this right now. Okay, Socks, wait till we get back. There wait, wa wait, <laughs> wait until we get back to the Kodiak. We're not having this know. conversation here when there's already a bunch of gossipy fucking bitches over there <laughs> complaining <laughs> and gossiping about what you fucking did. So we're just gonna we're just gonna drop this now. We're just gonna drop this now. You still have blood stains yep. on your shirt as well. Uh, yeah. You were literally, literally Club covered in blood. Clubber, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, Clubber okay. now gets gets sad once again. Like, just he just kind of like sulks down, realizing that he once again upset 
socks, which he did not like and he did not mean to do. And so he's just going to get sad and just like sh put his head down and he's just going to slowly and quietly just like, okay, and just like wander forward where they're headed. Socks is like heated. Socks is very upset still about what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> he, at this point, after hearing the gossip about how our descriptions are known, uh, I, Socks is already like looking around to see if there are any shops in the area that have like a, like a cloak or something or anything with a hood that can hide his giant fucking ears to at least make it look like he's at not a giant rabbit completely you do see like a couple of market stalls that seem to sell clothes okay uh we should probably get you into some new clothes. Yeah, we should. Um, and throw away the blood-soaked clothes that you're wearing. I know we're in a hurry, you know, to get to the oracles and everything, but yeah, I think but then this again, we kind don't want to like priority. stick out. Yeah, agreed. I don't have any money for clothes, unfortunately. It's okay, it's okay. Clubber. I'll buy them for you. It'll be a I, gift. I, I, I can't accept that socks, especially after I made you so upset. If you wear the clothes, it'll make me feel better. I can wear the clothes. Great. So I walk to the nearest <laughs> clothing <laughs> store. All right. You approach a stall that is run by an old gypsy woman. And she introduces herself as Madame Sonia. And she asks if you're looking for anything in particular. Yes. Do you have a... Anything... Do you have anything with, like, a hood... Maybe she pulls out this sort of dark purple robe and holds it up. And it's got like a nice big hood on it. Looks like, it like something a cultist might wear. Um, <laughs> is it like a, like a, a Sith Lord kind of cloak? Yes. Yes. Iconic. I want it. <laughs> Iconic. Is it like right. satin? Because socks would it's kill velvet. it. It's velvet. Ooh, it's velvet. Socks is already a fan. Socks is super into it. He's, All like, right. pretty upset that he has to wear it because he really loves his ears and is like, I'm a fucking rabbit. What are you going to do about it? But he's like, I can't be a rabbit right now. I got to I gotta hide a little bit. But I get to wear purple velvet, so I'm kind of a fan. The clubber is going to look over at the, at the shopkeeper and is like, hello, good shopkeeper. I am looking for something that does not have blood in it. She actually doesn't even seem phased by that. Um, <laughs> it's not the weirdest thing she's heard, even this morning. Um, so she sort of rummages through a, through a couple boxes, and she looks back at you, and like eyes open down. It's like, no, I'm gonna need something a little bit bigger. So she keeps uh, she keeps rummaging, and eventually she pulls out <laughs> this ridiculous hot pink shirt oh, with no. a little heart on it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I. I, I it's the only thing I have in your size. I think he loves it, actually. <laughs> so we're going to get that. And um, I look at Clubber and I'm like, does anything else have blood on it? Um, pants? Do you, do you need new pants, Clubber? Do they have pockets? Maybe. She uh she goes back back into her box of where she actually like disappears under her stall because she's having to dig so deep. Uh, but she comes back with like some like harem type pants that have like they're very large on the legs, but they have the cuff at the ankles. Uh, and they do have very large pockets in the front. Unfortunately, I can't wear pants. They choke the legs. You need cargo shorts. She grabs a knife and just sort of slices them and turns them into shorts. <laughs> Would they Love be it. half price? <laughs> I'll make you a deal. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will give you these for half price if you let me tell you your fortune. Deal. Socks is like not doesn't believe in fortunes, but he's like half off. Uh, yeah, Clover sure. is just like literally going to sit sit down on the floor like an excited school child and just be like, I would like to know what happens. All right. So you'll tell me my fortune for half price. I I'll pay tell... now? Yes. 
Three How plats, much? and I will tell all of you your fortunes. Three plats done. I'm not even buying anything. Do I need to get, <laughs> give you three plats? I oh, put no. on the cloak immediately. And I put She's the just, hood up. This is just an eccentric old lady who really wants to show you her tarot cards. Um, so the, she, she, she asks anybody who shops at her little stall to, to read their fortunes. Oh, okay. All right, I'll go first. Read my fortune, please. All right, roll me. Let me see if Boundary will let me do this. Roll d20. All right. Well, let's see. Okay, yeah, roll a d22. A d22? Okay. Oh, fancy. Yes. I'm trying to remember how to do that. You can do slash roll and then space D twenty two. Slash roll. Ooh, a fifteen. Let's see here. Ooh. So you got Temperance. I actually busted out my own tarot deck. My cyberpunk Candy. tarot deck. So Ooh. you got Neat. Temperance. Cool. She says, Ah, Temperance, the master of moderation, the bastion of peace and of patience. She reminds you that you cannot force the pace nor the direction of your life. A great upheaval is coming your way, but take things as they come. You must find your way through like a river finds its way around a rock. You, ma'am. I, 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 I would like, I, like I would it. like to go. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I go next? Can I, can I go next? Socks, is that okay? Can I go next? Yeah, go ahead. I, I want to go next. Clover, Clover is so excited because he loves knowing things. For some reason, Socks just feels like a proud dad right now. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really know why, but he just does. I have rolled a 21. 21. She says, ah, yes. The world. <sighs> the very last card in my deck. I see completion and fulfillment. Some may call it success. You were once a fool, but you have seen many things, and you have emerged with a greater understanding of who you are. Soon, you will complete yet another journey and can move on to a new phase of being, but only if you choose. What, 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 what do I choose? That is up to you, my child. Like Cl Clover just goes like dead quiet and he just like is staring off into space, just contemplating everything he just heard. All right, uh, great. I guess it's my turn now. Six. She says, that is the Hierophant. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> A message from the heavens. She comes bearing spiritual echoes from another realm. Do not disrespect the natural law, my child. Remember that it is the natural law for a reason. And soon, you too may receive a message from the spirits, or you may find yourself in need of spiritual guidance. Do not upset natural law. Cybernetic enhanced bunny with guns. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just like nodding. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Dude, I fucking love this tarot deck so much. It's so sick. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so sick. I've I've n I've never Where done a tarot reading before. I got this on Etsy. Wow, that's cool. And they just like did their own art for it. And yeah, like, they did. Yep, they did all their own art. They printed their own cards. This is wow. my favorite. Cool. So love neat. It. Nice. All right. 
Oh, you met a crazy old lady? Bought some pants? Clover's got his shirt on and he's just he's just flexing it, just like <laughs> his pink shirt. <laughs> With a giant a heart on pops. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're we're ready to go. <laughs> now we go down the creepy skinny hallway area. Yeah, now we find that alley. And uh Yes. I get ready to cough up more coin. All right, so you keep on heading down the corridor and it starts to empty out and uh, it gets, it, it starts to get a little bit quiet. Um, but ahead of you, you see four men playing a very intense game of dice on the floor. One of them is carving an apple with a knife. And as you approach, they stand up and they block your path. Excuse me, good sirs, but we need to get through this direction. The guy with the apple eats a chunk of it directly off the end of his blade, and then he points it at you. He says, hey, I know you. You're the one those widows are looking for. Oh, he, there are bits of half-chewed apple, like, spewing from his mouth as he talks. Yes. Um, I would like to use intimidation. All right, give it a shot. All right, let me find my character sheet here. Da, 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 da. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. That is the one sentence I did not want to hear. What? Using intimidation? <laughs> no, no. You're, you're the, oh, okay. the guy, the, the widow. 22. You know what? I'm going to roll a counter wisdom check to see. <laughs> These guys look like starting characters when you load into a brand new RPG. Right. <laughs> Except for the one with the sword. He, uh... <laughs> he chokes on his apple a little bit. If and, you know uh, who we are, then you'd know you best get out of our way, friend. He, uh... He looks at the guys behind him and he goes, oh, fuck it. It's not worth it. And they, uh, they just nice. sort of sulk off. Uh, before he walks away, I would like to extend my hand and go, Apple, please. He tosses the apple right past your hand and onto the ground. I'm punching Don't. him in the face. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, better get ready for combat, I guess. There's no way to. Yeah, here come the tokens. Clover, how did you do this? We literally were about to get inside this fucking church and you had to punch another person in the face. Man. Sox is sick of Clover's shit at this point. Just like. I'm fucking for real. I think we're gonna close the door. I'll be right back. Sorry. Well. Okay. Oh, your gosh. I, I thought you that could... was role playing. I was like, "Hello, <laughs> what door? <laughs> the door to the church." Go ahead and mm. swing, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Okie no. dokie. Twenty-two. <laughs> that fucking hits. <laughs> uh, boom. Five. Four, five. All Bandana right. is on. <laughs> all right. Well, we're all gonna roll initiative. Yeah. I can't believe this, Clover. Clover. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. oh, initiative. Here it is. If you couldn't tell from earlier, Clover's ready to fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should. Clover hasn't yes, dug his fight. grave deep enough yet. Where is my initiative button again? Uh, go to the little fist at the top, the combat tracker, and your dice is in there. Oh, that thing. That's right. Okay. And back. Well, Clubber punched somebody, and now you're now you gotta fight <laughs> these guys. So you can yep. go to the combat tracker and roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm scary. Give me your apple. Dropped. I'm breaking your face. <laughs> I mean, he 
didn't have to be a dick about the whole apple thing. He did it. He brought it on to himself. <laughs> he really didn't have to be that way, but he chose to be that way. So yeah. here we are. True. All right, socks. All right. I socks really doesn't want to bring more attention to this and he's kind of just hoping to get this out of the way quickly, but does not really want to use his guns, even though that's what he's best at. So he's kind of just accepting that there isn't a lot he can do right now, except go into rabid bunny mode. And Ooh. he has the bandana on and he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. What, what else could fucking happen today? What else could go wrong right now? So he just takes the bandana off and just like, basically like, just like a TikTok transition in real life. Where he just like <laughs> washes over his face and he's just fucking, the teeth are just like out and he's just, looks like a nightmare. Like the horrifying bunny image that was sent in our <laughs> Discord server that I will never unsee. That is him. And he's just like, all right. And he's just going to run on all fours to the uh this bug the one all on right the bottom, and just just bite his leg like right on his thigh like as hard as he can all right and he's like this is so gross i'd rather just stay over here just... but I can't this it. dude hasn't bathed in weeks by the way <sighs> I'm boiling my mouth after this. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Oh, that hits, let's baby. go. Woo. All right. Uh, let me roll for damage. Eight. Because it's a crit, oh. yeah? <laughs> yeah. You take a fucking chunk out of this guy's leg and you like must have gotten his femoral artery or something because he is bleeding like a lot. Like, this. He's already in a bad situation. Oh my god, I love it. Wh which guy did Socks attack again? The one on the bottom. This one down here. Okay. Um, I, 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 I'm trying to act so tough, but I'm like, oh. I can do this. I can do this. Um, and I'm just gonna back up a little bit. So I'm still like there, like trying to freak him out, uh, but still giving distance between myself and the thugs. He's screaming, my leg! Like the SpongeBob character. Ah. All right, so that brings us to this thug up here. And he is going to attempt to step up to clubber here and shank him does an 18 hit yes that will connect just bought you this fucking shirt for five okay I should also add that while we were on the Kodiak, we did take a short rest. Oh. Kiara, you're up. Okay. Trying to... Um, and then you said I do, like... A sneak thing first to like crit, right? Uh, yeah, yes. so you would stealth. Okay, let's see. Yeah, stealth. Let me, let me see what his passive perception is. <laughs> that actually works. Woo. This guy is not very perceptive. <laughs> He's a little fucking high right now, so, you know. Um, let's see. And then I can do my next weapon thing. Yes. Okay. This. And 
then do I do attack or damage first? Attack. Okay. That does not hit. Gosh, darn it. It goes sailing right past his shoulder, and he actually notices you standing there for the first time, and it kind of scares the shit out of him. <laughs> Is that our I'll first crit fail? Time, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right, so that brings us to this guy here in the back. He is... He's oh a little boy. mad that you scared his friend. So he's actually going to try and take a shot on you, Kiara. This is an 18 hit. And that's my armor class, right? Yes. Uh, armor class says 16, so yes. Kay. All right. Or nine. And then I just subtract nine from my hit point? Yes. Okay. Which brings oh, us... to our big thug here in the middle. And he is just going to attempt to... He's just got a pipe in his hand, so he's gonna... He's gonna see what he can do with this. He is gonna go for... Clubber. Does an 11 hit. No. Of course it doesn't. It tickles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're back to you, Glover. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, let me see here. So I can do. I'm doing the martial arts thing. So I, I want to double check on this because I've never done these before for the combos. So for the combos that I can do, the T2 finishers, for example, um, what is it? The ground and pound specifically says after resolving damage from my last hit i'm assuming i missed that because that's the last hit from my last one correct or no correct okay so now i would be moving to the t3s that would do that then potentially if i if i hit something here let's see here after Maybe. resolving your last hit after resolving yeah okay yeah brawler strength combo chain let's see after you hit an enemy and inflict damage, you escalate to the next tier. Okay, perfect. That's so. That yes, explains you're it. on tier two now. Yes. Yep, I'm on tier two. So if I hit tier, th oh, if I hit tier three, oh, <laughs> someone's gonna have a bad day. <laughs> I love this class. Oh, okay. Let me go, let me go back to this. Let me go back to unarmed strike tier two. Now, uh, attack and. No! <laughs> that does not hit. And eight's not gonna hit. I'm sad now. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right, that brings us down to this thug down here who is uh, bleeding out quickly. <laughs> and he he's just gonna like swipe wildly at Socks with his knife. That's a five hit. <laughs> no, <laughs> this guy is deli- He's lost too much blood already. I just shrug. I'm like, he's having a bad day. Sorry. All right, well, that's it for him. We're back to you, Socks. <laughs> Socks is like, you know what? Shit can't get worse. It can't get worse at this point. So he just, you know, gives up on the whole rabid bunny thing. He really doesn't want to bite another person because that was really, really gross. So he just grabs his machine pistol and just wants to put this poor guy out of his misery because he is really suffering right now. So he's just going to try and do that. Does a 20 hit. <laughs> Oh 
my god. Yeah, that that that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> I don't even want to say it out loud. <laughs> Cuz this man is just dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please, please describe how you dispatch this poor miscreant. I I assume that since I took so much off of his leg that I am like covered in blood and I am yes. disgusted. So I put my bandana back on before I do anything else. Um, and I'm immediately feeling more confident. I was like, all right, I'll, we're just gonna fucking do it. And I just grab my machine pistol off of my right thigh, my right giant rabbit thigh. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck this. And I just, <laughs> right? Cause he's pretty close to me. Cause he just tried to swipe me and he just, hits the ground and I'm just like <sighs> I just look at the other thugs like <sighs> I'm sorry this is really I... gonna suck for me too roll me an intimidation check <laughs> Ooh. Okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that checks <laughs> out that checks out <laughs> all right um, well you did just hate crime there friend uh so let me just <laughs> jesus christ uh a little bit of blood splash splashes back on the three of them but maybe that's their fetish i don't know <laughs> which brings us back to this thug right here and he is actually gonna try and move in on you and take a swing Me? See, yeah. yes he feels like you're the biggest threat now you did just uh <laughs> brutally murder someone right quickly. in front of his eyes <laughs> very quickly all right all let right. me see here he's gonna take a wild stab with his knife one question. Since he moved yes. past me, do I get in an attack of opportunity? Yes. He did not take a very smart path, did he? <laughs> he went right in between me and my other oh, target. Oh, no. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's go back to unarmed strike tier one because I suck. I really hope you just deck this guy in the side of the head. 23! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that fucking hit. Okay. <laughs> Get him in the back of the skull. All right, so this is what I would like to do. So I, I, I just like completely, well, it's, a, it's a rabbit punch essentially. I hit him right in the back of the head. Yes. Uh, I would like to do the ground and pound. So after resolving damage from my last hit, which would have been that one, let me resolve the damage. Let me do this quick. Well, okay, either way. <laughs> After resolving damage, I use my agility and strength to knock the target prone. I can then either use a disengage action or have advantage on my next attack. I would like to have the advantage. <laughs> All right. Well, he is now. Let me. <laughs> He's, He's face prone. down on the ground. <laughs> you just fucking. Have you ever seen that gif? of the penguins where the one penguin is walking by and the second <laughs> penguin smacks him in the back of the head and he just falls face first. That's what just happened here. Yeah. Clover is just like, you're not going towards my socks. You fucking you <laughs> sucker punch this guy. Do I also get an attack of opportunity? You do not, but let Damn me see. <laughs> Did he land near me? Oh yeah, he's like right Enough? in front of you. Yeah. Oh. I just realized you just bought a brand new robe and there's blood all over it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm upset, but <laughs> I really liked this robe too. I was just getting really comfy in it. <laughs> What's the window of opportunity for returns? <laughs> we should have done this after. <laughs> or we should have gotten the clothes after. All right, so homeboy already used all of his movement to get over here so we can't use it to stand up so he's just gonna have to be on the ground i guess and attempt this with this advantage 
Has an 11 hit? No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're back to you, Kiara. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm going to do the stealth again. Let's see. So this guy does see you. He has line of sight. Because he mm. did an attempted attack. So should I just attack? You, you can choose to just attack. You can choose to move and try to stealth, but that's probably not the most economic choice. Mm -hmm. You can just give it a go with that grappling hook if you want. Or you can just rush him and stab him. You got options. Yeah. Do you... I think I... I think I hit it. Hold on. Where did this go? Oh, there it is. Attack. And then normal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that is. Woo! Nice. Um, let's see. And then is it piercing or bludgeoning or do I pick that? You can pick which one you want. Let's see. Uh, let's do bludgeoning. Target All is right. not prone. You do not grapple. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your damage. Damage. Oh. You get him, like, right in the knee, and he just fucking whap! He just falls right down on his back. <laughs> nice. Each. And, uh, it is now his turn. <laughs> so, he's gonna use all of his movement to, to stand himself back up. So let me clear this. But now he can't go anywhere, so he's gonna... Try to take a shot at you with his sidearm. Does a 10 hit? I don't think so. God. I, th I think you have 16, uh, if I remember 16, correctly. 16, yeah. yeah. All right, well, he misses. And we are Hi. on to our main asshole here. Um, God, these guys are rolling like shit today. <laughs> He's just gonna attempt- he's just gonna swing again with his fucking piece of pipe that he has. That's <laughs> a five hit! Is the apple in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. All he had to do was hand you the fucking apple. All he had to do. All he had to do! He chose to be a dick about it. And that yep. now it's your turn, Glover. That all right. Uh, let's do this. I have advantage. So will a fourteen connect? Fourteen does hit. Perfect. Uh, let me do this. One. And then, where's my combos? <laughs> I would like to use my bone breaker to exert pressure on a limb and hear a crack. <laughs> okay. Oh God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it also, uh, that's literally it. I like a, a limb breaks and then double both my damage dice and ability modifier on my last hit. So I literally just did two damage to him and that's it. But I broke a bone. You're like, you cracked like three fingers. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> I love He's... this class. <laughs> he is certainly like regretting his decision to fuck with you, uh, but it, it, he's not hurting that bad yet. Yep. And his compatriot is dead, so we're back to you, Socks. The guy in front of you is still prone. Yeah, um, 
I still have my machine pistol in my hand. So I'm probably just going to point because he fell on his face, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to point it at the back of his head and do my best. Yep. Roll with advantage. And see what happens. They're going to splatter this guy's brains all over the floor. <laughs> Socks is like a bunny John Wick. <laughs> Just... oh. Yep, yep, that yep, yep that hits. <laughs> uh, please describe how you ruthlessly murder this other <laughs> this other man. I I'm still just like this is such this this wouldn't have happened if Clever didn't want that fucking apple. And I'm just still so disappointed. But I'm just not really... I don't care. I don't care about this. I don't care about this fight. I just want to go into the church just to get kicked out again. And then have to go buy a new robe. And I'm like super pissed. So I'm just like... Fuck off! And I just shoot him in the back of the head. Socks. I don't want to draw unnecessary attention. Also socks. <laughs> Machine gun pistols a guy at point blank range. <laughs> Literally <laughs> executes a man in an alley. This what happened. you do to her, Clubber, or sorry, him. <sighs> so. I'm, so mad. I'm still upset. I'm still very <laughs> shaken from earlier this day. Well, other other thug is fucking dead. So we're back to you, Kiara. Okay. Do, do, do. Go to here. Yeah. To use my fighting knife, I'd have to move, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and let I me just see move here. First. Yep. You can't throw it. <laughs> I mean, you can certainly try, I mean, but you you can. You would just have to use improvised weapon, and you do it with disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, I moved my token. Is that like close enough? Oh yeah, that's close enough. Okay. Go back. Bayonet fighting knife. And... Attack. <laughs> that hits! Yeah. Damn it. Please, please describe how you kill this man. Uh, Kiara just rolls right up, uh, gets her knife already, and just uh, stabs him right through the side of the neck. <laughs> oh, God! Ooh, wow. And then he just flops down. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking, he's fucking dead. You killed him. Uh, yeah, he's fucking, he's, it's over. He's, he's dead, Jim. <laughs> All right, that uh, there's one guy left standing, and he is gonna try his. And he's best. the one that started it. <laughs> yeah, the poor other guy. All right, he's starting to get a little concerned, so he is gonna pull out his bolt rifle. Does a seventeen hit? Clubber's just gonna stand like this. And just take the hit smiling because it doesn't hit. Oh my god. <laughs> he It reflects off the heart in the on the shirt. He fucking he looks like he he cannot believe his eyes. He just missed. At point but he This man this man is concerned about the choices that he has made in life. And uh, the, we're back to you, Clubber. I wonder what I'll do. Break his bones more? 14. That does not hit. That's okay. I will play with my food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to you, Socks. Okay. I... 
almost don't want to do anything because I want Clubber to have the satisfaction of killing this man. One day wanting this guy. Because I don't want this to happen again. And I know that if Clubber doesn't get his chance, nothing's going to happen. So I You can choose when you do damage to designate it as non-lethal damage. That's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um well i'm not gonna use my gun this time so i guess i have no other choice but to bite him you're gonna catch an std just from biting these guys <laughs> i just uh socks we're gonna have to stop by a shop and get you some toothpaste <laughs> socks needs listerine yeah. I just, Sox really doesn't want to bite anybody else. Or tequila, you know, that yeah. disinfectant. It's fine. Can I, can I just loot the bodies instead? You, <laughs> yeah, you are welcome to loot the bodies. I'm probably not going to find anything but more dirt, but at least I won't be stealing any, any single speck of blood from Clubber's moment. And uh, Clubber needs that. <laughs> desperately. <laughs> so. Clubber needs it desperately because you're just tired of Clubber wanting to win a fight. Yeah. I'm tired of Clubber getting us in the fight. After fight. <laughs> after fight. And Uzi's probably like, oh my god, why do they take 10 years? <laughs> one thing. It's like, because Clubber keeps getting us into fights. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to loot the body of the, the, the thug right in front of me as his brains are spread all over the pavement. All right, so on his body, you find uh, three plats. Oh, I get my uh, plats back from the things he destroyed. A, uh, a set of caltrops. Ooh. And you could take the two weapons that he has on him. Oh, and what would they be? Um, that would be a knife and a dart pistol. Finally, I have something other than my thief. Can I add these? Uh, I can actually add them to your character sheet for you. One moment. Oh, sweet. Okay. I literally have thief, gun, gun. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have. That's all. Okay. That's all you need. That's funny. That's all I you need. I have bolt cutters, but I don't think I could really do much with that. Oh, you could. All right, now you have them in your inventory, and let oh, me add okay. the caltrops for you. What are those? Uh, so they are like spikes that you can throw out. They're now in oh. your inventory if you want to like drop down and read what they do. Oh, cool. Wait, can yeah. I check the, the guy I killed's body? Yes, you most certainly can. Ew. I think I we are and we are actually on your turn so that works out you literally just walk up to him and tell me you want to loot his body oh okay <laughs> yep yep <laughs> I'm walking up to him all right so on his body uh you find four plats a lock pick and then his two weapons um which is a bayonet fighting knife and an air dart pistol And I can put those on your character sheet. An air dart pistol. That sounds fun. Yeah, because I mostly just had my grappling hook and then my knife, so that'll be nice. I didn't know we could loot people. You yep. sure can. We You can. <laughs> you can also try to pickpocket people. Hope that lock pick comes in handy sometime. Fancy. All right, that brings us to this guy who's made a lot of bad choices in his life, and uh, he's, he's really just it. one. It was really just one bad choice. <laughs> he's gonna try again with this bolt rifle. 
Like I said, the seven doesn't hit. No. Mm, of course it doesn't. Well, he, uh, so he actually goes, he like puts it right <laughs> up to you and goes to fire and the fucking gun jams. Good. <laughs> that, that's your turn. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Followed by this. Followed by this. Nine will not connect. It will not. <laughs> Let's see. That Clubber's getting angry. <laughs> Clubber's getting mad at himself right now. <laughs> Don't want to take his take his stuff. So <laughs> I'm just you get one more chance. <laughs> one more. I'm gonna loot this guy's body. <laughs> All right, so on that guy, you find five plats. You find another bayonet fighting knife, another air dart gun. Oh. And you find a vial of chrono. Ooh. Chrono. Yes. What's that? Let me put it on your character sheet so you can see it. Um. Let's see here. Also, can I have two bayonets and two air dart guns? Yes. Do I need to? Yeah. Well, you could you could sell them. Oh, true. I guess I didn't think about that part. And then let me. Yeah. Uh, that and then the, the chrono. You also find a lighter and some glow paint. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, rave time. I don't <laughs> want to say that. <laughs> so, Chrono, um, as you might know, is the Ceresian equivalent of methamphetamine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, it has a two hour duration. You get a plus 10 to speed, and you become immune to the effects of exhaustion. Um, but every 20 minutes of that two hours, you have to roll a wisdom saving throw, um, to avoid the side effects, which can include, uh, schizoid hallucinations, uh, paranoia, body tics, etc. And now we know why they made bad decisions. Oh yes. Oh my god, Socks <laughs> yes. is carrying drugs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How did I get into this situation? It was just a yeah. fucking apple. <laughs> you got drug drugs mule on now, Socks. Yep. <laughs> For what it's worth, though, there's no, like, police force that would be interested in the drugs that you're carrying, though. Like, oh, well, it's, that's this, lucky. this is a lawless place. You having a vial of Chrono is literally the least of anyone's concerns. Okay, great. Rach is concerned. Um, awesome. Anybody want a drugged up bunny? Because that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> you could literally shoot heroin in the open air market and no one would give a shit. So that's wow. that's that's where we're at as a society. I see. Dang. Endline station is full of good people. Mm-hmm. Um great. I think that is my turn. Like, there's there's definitely a reason that you were able to push someone's body through the floor and the police have not come after you yet. Because there are no police. You're in a lawless land. Love that for us. All right, Kiharo, we're back to you. Uh, we're still trying to kill the big guy, right? Yeah, we're still trying to kill him, but he still looks pretty healthy considering that all of his friends are fucking dead. Hmm. Save the best for last. Uh, can I give a uh, stealth? Like, or is would it not be good? Because he already knows that I'm there. Uh, he does not have line of sight on you right now, so you can definitely stealth right. up. Bum, 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 bum. And stealth. Normal. He's still trying to fix his gun. Oh yeah, you're 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 stealth. You're good. Oh yeah. Okay, and then now that I'm stealth, I can do advantage or something. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, if I do the air dart gun, can that crit still? Or that... only, like, grappling hook and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think the air dart gun can crit, because it technically uses injections. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's do this. And attack. 
And then I attack with advantage. Yes. Okay. That hits. Sweet. And then I do damage. And then critical hit. Uh, just a normal. You didn't roll the crits. Nope. Oh. Nine. Or... You take a nice little chunk out of his back. He starts to bleed a little bit. Uh, he's 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 definitely still standing and able to fight, but uh, he see better days. I'd say so. <laughs> and it is his turn. And he is done fucking with this gun. He's gonna try to move back to his uh, trusty pipe here. <laughs> this is a fourteen hit. No. I know it doesn't. <laughs> what is your armor? 17. Oh my god. Like, she's hit me once, and there was once where it was tied, because you did roll a 17, and I was just mm -hmm. like, that was so close, but no. <laughs> yep. Yep. So he, he swings at you with this wrench, and it literally bounces off of your bicep. Like, it doesn't... And, 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 he, and he's just... He looks like he might piss himself at this point. He's not having a, a good time. And now, Clever, it's, it's your turn. Yay! Fifteen will it, not connect. It does not. Gosh darn it! <laughs> oh. Yep, Clever mad, Clever angry. <laughs> All right, Socks, we're back to you. All right. I'm gonna use my knife and just try and stab this guy from behind in like the side. All right. Not the back. No. Oh. Swing and a miss. Yeah. You trip over the body yeah. of the guy that you already ruthlessly killed. I play it off as good as I can. <laughs> and I give Clover the look of, just please kill him. Please just get it over with. All right, Kiara. Too long. We're back to you. Day of luck. Wait, back to me. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Where'd my thing go? Okay. My knife. And attack. That hits. Anyway, uh, Damage four ten. All right, he uh, <laughs> he was just about to start taunting you guys, and as he goes to open his mouth, he takes that hit and he's like, Oh, fuck. <laughs> and uh, what was a wound that was kind of like a creek of blood is now two wounds that are rivers of blood. Uh, and some of the color starts to drain from his face. Nice. Finally. Let's shut him up. But that brings us back to him. He's gonna uh, try again with this pipe. Because at, at this point, man, he doesn't know what else to do. He's, he's fucking drugged up and he gets a 23. He finally fucking oh, hits finally. something. That will <laughs> connect. <laughs> For three whole damage. Wow. Let's go! <laughs> Just scratch. <laughs> At least he has something to be proud of. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Let's try this again. If <laughs> Wait, what happened? I should have just used my grenade launcher. Point blank range. It is a 
comical at this point. Um, <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Ooh what is that? that? Oh. I can do this. I am wise. All right, you feel yourself getting really fucking pissed. <laughs> you start to see like red, the, your vision kind of starts to tunnel, but you look over at socks and you take a really deep breath. Yeah. And you manage to center and calm the fuck down and not black out. <laughs> 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 this is good. This is good. And now we're back to socks. I love how that had to be implemented. I'm grabbing my gun again. I'm fucking sick of this at this point. I grab my machine pistol and I'm just trying so hard to just have this end. Because I know I I Sox is already predicting that as soon as his last guy dies, Clover is going to turn around and pick that apple up off the ground and take a nice big old bite out of it. Be like, at least I got my apple. And I'm still gonna be stood here like I just paid three plats for these clothes and now they're covered in blood because you wanted an apple that bad. Twenty-three. That that does hit. Nine. Or nine. This dude is now peppered with fucking bullet wounds. He is bleeding out of more places than you can name. But he is still standing out of sheer wow. stubbornness. What a legend. He wants Dang. to finish his fucking apple. If he wanted to finish it, why did he throw it? <laughs> <laughs> he thought it he thought maybe he could come back for it later. And he wouldn't want it anymore. He's used to eating out of the garbage. But that brings us to you, Kiara. Yeah, Kiara's getting sick of this shit too. She's wanting this to wrap up. Uh, we're all over it. Yep. Sick. Uh, new air, air dart gun for the first time, I think. What is okay? Attack. Normal. 22. All right, let's see here. This guy had pain uh, injections for this gun. <laughs> oh boy. Pain injection? What was yes. That? So basically what it does, um, so the air dart does not, it basically delivers like injection ammo that has different effects instead of just raw damage. Oh, so, so it's not like a gun with like a bullet, it shoots no. a dart that has an effect. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So he has now been injected with uh, a pain injection that hypersensitizes his dermal nerve network. Uh, so every time he takes damage, he takes an additional 1d4 of damage. And he must pass two DC 13 con saving throws to end that effect. And he realizes that, uh, this is not fucking going well for him. <laughs> Definitely not. So he is gonna, he's, he's gonna try again with this bolt rifle. At, at this point, like, he knows he can't get out. Um, so oh, wait, he's gonna. I did an attack. No worries. He's gonna try to shoot his weight out. He gets a fucking six because <laughs> he's bleeding from everywhere. <laughs> and we're back to clever. All right. We, I can do like clever's good. Clever has found his center's piece, right? He's no longer enraged. He knows what he needs to do. There's a job that needs to be done and he's ready to do that job. And that job is to punch. An eight. You 
know what? Because <laughs> Clubber is centered. Roll again. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> 21! Got him. Roll damage. Where is my damage? Boom. Four. Just enough. Please describe how you killed this man. Yes! Did not give you your apple. Yes! Um, Clubber is going to wind up to get ready to unload a wild haymaker. And he's just going to say very calmly... An apple a day keeps the clubber away, friend. And he's just gonna let it loose oh and his he, connect, and the jaw is just going to rip off of him and fly. <laughs> and I have to say, here's the thing because clubber is right handed, and so he's doing a nice right haymaker to the jaw, the jaw is actually going to be projectiled towards socks. Do I need to roll Dex? <laughs> yeah, roll a deck saving throw for me. Yeah. Okay, save. To see if it doesn't hit you. Yes. Okay. Or 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 catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hang on. How do I do a saving throw? All right. Oh, so here we go. Found it. Yep. I found it. Just normal. Yes. Yep. 16. You dodged that shit real slick. Oh. <laughs> oh like, no God. more gore for me. <laughs> I already bit someone's thigh today. I don't need more body parts all over my body. Nice. And with that, all of these dudes who were very, want very much wanting to rat you out to the widows are dead. See, they wanted to rat us out. It's a good thing we killed them. I would like to loot the body while eating the apple. All right, so you <laughs> loot this guy's body. Let me pull up his sheet again so I can give you all of his items. He has... Oh. Let me find your sheet. He has a nano healer. Ooh. A vial of acid. Wait, like bur burning acid or like trippy acid? Like burning acid. Okay, like cool. Like what you would throw in someone's eyes. Nice! A dice set. And uh, 12 plats. But the plats are wrapped in a note that reads, Here's your train fare. Please come home. Mom. That's so sad, Clubber. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this song just said, okay. are we dreaming? <laughs> That's I how I feel in this moment right now. So, Clover is going to very slowly walk over to Socks and hand Socks all of the plat and say, I'm sorry for, I'm, I'm sorry for your robe, Socks. And then Clover's going to walk over to these nice little uh, picnic tables and he's just going to sit down with the note in his hand and he's actually going to start crying. I'm just going to I'm going to look at the the plats that are now in my hand and turn around at at Clover cuz I'm still standing next to the guys that I looted. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, "Yo, Clover, you can you can keep these. This guy paid for them." And I like kick the the first one I killed's body that's just laying on the floor. <laughs> Does this guy have, like, a picture of his family in his, like, wallet or anything? Nope, it's just the note. Oh, damn. What have I done, Socks? At least you got the apple. <laughs> but really, Clubber, I'm gonna sit across the table from Clubber for a second. I'm gonna try and calm him down a little bit. <laughs> you know, Clubber... We were about to be in a lot of trouble if we let those guys go. So really, you saved us. Because I... they recognized us. They said, hey, you're the one the widows are looking for. And I was standing there like, oh shit, I don't know what to do. But you had the good plan to erase these guys, thug, thug, men, thug men, 
Yo, from existence. Um, so that we can keep helping people and finding our friends. I let it, it happen like, I don't again know what the sucks. fuck I'm saying, but I'm hoping it works. <laughs> I, I, I let... I can't make these decisions, Socks. I let my rage take over. And that mother isn't going to see her son. Socks really wants to just say, you know, every every person we've killed has family, Clubber. But he knows it's a really bad idea. Uh, Cl Clubber, while, while crying, he's going to take this note of paper. And he would like to fold it into like a, a paper whistle. And, All right, okay. <laughs> and, and then he's gonna he's gonna slide it over across the table to socks, and just. <laughs> I need you to take this, and I promise from now on, I'm only gonna attack when I hear its noise. You want, you want me to whistle this when it's fight time? He's just gonna like cry and he's just gonna nod his head. And Sox is like really like kind of sad now. Like, oh my God, Palmer, <laughs> I didn't realize this hit you that hard. Like, <laughs> I uh, like, yep. Clubber, er, Clubber, you're Clubber, I'm Sox. Sox is like, <laughs> Just tell you what you're gonna do. Socks is like. No. All right, sure. Um, you know, you know where you know where I'll put it, so I never, I never forget. Um, he kind of like takes like some. He finds some sharp, like the knife that he just got, and he like pokes a little hole in like the corner where there's no words. And, um, kind of, like, attaches it to, like, a loose thread on his vest so that it always, there's always access and so Clubber can still see it. Um, and it's like, yo, Clubber, I'm sorry. Um, I, you know, um, that must have been a, a hard thing to see, um, uh, you you know. They just you know, wanted I, their I, son to come home, sucks. And so, I just wanted an apple. Well, we so Cos Cosmo, uh, Cosmo comes whirring over, and as 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 solemn as a little robot could look, <laughs> without a face, um, he says, I I. I I I I don't know if this is helpful for you, but uh, uh ba based on activity that I've seen from these types before, the likelihood that he would have actually gone home is very very low, if any. I agree with you, Cosmo. I you know we don't know how long he's had this money. Maybe he chose not to go back, but I'm I think I think Clubber feels bad for um this guy's mom who gave him the money and took the time to send it to him and write this note. Um, I think that's the part that, that Clubber's upset about. Well, it, it, if you'd like, I could attempt to track her down. I don't you, know if that's a good idea. You could, you could do that. I don't, I, Clubber, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a good idea. What if she comes at us because you killed her son? What are we gonna say? We killed your son? Yeah. Here's your money it, back? We it's could, the right we, thing to do. I we could We could simply let her know that he has died in an unspecified way. <laughs> but she'll ask. I mean, I, mean, we could I guess. throw his body in front of, like, something and, you know, just say that. We could happened. say he got in a fight. Socks. Socks, if that was your mother laying there and he's gonna point at the body. Wouldn't you want to know? Uh, I don't, I don't really know, Clubber. And Socks kind of like quickly looks away. 
um, trying real, trying not to make eye contact with either Kiara or uh, or Clover. So, Cosmo, he, he, he reaches up a little arm and he tries to pat Clover on the shoulder. His arm doesn't quite, like, reach up far enough, so he just sort of ends up, like, patting him on the arm a little bit. He goes, you leave this to me. We'll figure something out. Thank you, Cosmo. Uh, Clover's just going to give Cosmo a, a big hug again. And Cosmo, like, whirs over to to the, the body of, of, of this guy, and... He, 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 like, has a little, like, container, and, and, and he takes out his little tweezer attachment, and he grabs, like, some of his hair, and he, like, scoops up a little bit of the blood that's on the floor, and he closes it, and he brings it back, and, 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 and takes it with him, and he says, I will keep this safe. We will figure something out. All right. I think that we gotta go to the whatever it is now. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> that really took a turn. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We uh, we should we should do that. We should go and um, might lose our lead. We should go and do that. <laughs> Socks kind of just looks at his like robe covered in brain goo and blood, and it's just like. Just takes it off and just throws it in like a corner, in a dark corner, <laughs> behind some bins or something. So Cosmo grows and he grabs it and he brings it back and he says, hold this up, please. And he takes out his evasive air blower attachment <laughs> and just blasts it with air. Oh. And he sends blood and shit just scattering everywhere all over the walls it leaves actually like quite a, a, a quite artistic little uh thing uh on, on the walls of the corridor uh but... <laughs> into our cat form just to like dodge it <laughs> aside from uh, aside from a uh, a few uh little stains here and there it looks mostly clean at least like you didn't recently murder a bunch of people Thanks, Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I uh, kind of forgot you could do that, actually. <laughs> um, great. Uh, yeah, it, he puts it back on and doesn't put the hood up because uh, there's nobody else around right now. But he's like, okay. I still got to think about the fact that there was brain on this, but at least it's clean, right, Cosmo? You look better, yeah. That's what matters. That's what matters. Nice. I gotta say, yeah, I couldn't. I, cool. Could you guys actually see that I was actually crying? No. Your really? camera's a Dang it. Dying. Yeah, I actually legitimately had tears. Oh. <laughs> Poor fucking clubber, dude. <laughs> <laughs> look, when I get into character, I get into character. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah, I, I like I, my left one didn't actually go past like here, but my right one, I little I like that one went down. Oh my god, <laughs> that was tough. tough that was a tough ending. Yeah, yeah, that that's. I mean, well, here's the thing. That entire interactment. First, it went way over here. <laughs> then it went way over here. <laughs> 